All right, I don't know about you guys, but I am ready to hit it today. Um, and today, I'm going to work on uh, what we'll just call character development, maybe. Uh, it's funny, I, I got... Oh, it stuck? Is it stuck? Man, if it's stuck, then I need to think of, think of some way to get out of it. Stuck on... Yeah, there you go. It is stuck. I am stuck. First time I think of drawing ahead, first thing that comes to mind are these weird bean shapes. Bean shaped heads. Because I, you know, I, I explained the other day about, you know, the, like, the anatomical version of the head being a shape kind of, a form kind of like this. You know, with the eyes and stuff. You know, I'd, I kind of take off this part and shrink it in a little bit. And I end up thinking, I end up starting with something like this. I don't know necessarily how I came to that. But I did. And uh, it's it's uh, been a starting point for me for a long time. And... Uh, which is which is good, you know. At least at least I know where I'm starting from. And you know, this does have to do, by the way, with characters and ideas that generally just come out of your head. You know, when you're when you're drawing from life, it's a totally different deal. You've got to pay attention to your subject. Think about what they're thinking of. Maybe think about what they're feeling. It's really a, not a whole lot different when uh, <laughs> it's not really different at all. It's even more so when you're just designing your own characters because what you're doing is acting. Uh, whoops. You're acting throughout this character's little, little life, you know, that you're, you're making for him. And, uh, you know, so what can, what can we do this to this guy? You know, how does he feel is what I'm thinking. Looks a little worried. You know, maybe let's make him more confident. Maybe. He looks even more worried that way. Uh, oh, sorry, I was digging through my pencil. Pencil cup for an eraser. Where's he going? What's he doing? You know, it's designing characters is really fun and it's really challenging in a lot of ways too because you, you've got so many options. You can you can do anything, you know. So what do you do? You know, how big do you make the guy's ears, and then why are you making them that big? You know, is he bald? On top, does he have fluffy hair on the side, or does he keep it close cropped? Why? How does it fit with that dude's personality? You know, when I am designing characters, I'll often, I, you know, most of the time actually start with the head. shape. I usually get the head and, and the head established and then a lot of times the eyes will come next. And uh, you know I, I really don't have a real specific way that I do eyes and uh, noses or mouths. It's just just kind of what I feel like doing. But, you know, the challenge there is, is that you do have to make your characters kind of fit with each other. They kind of have to look alike. 
to give this kid some bushy hair. Well, they don't have to, they don't look like, but they have to look like they exist in kind of the same universe, you know. They have to feel like they, they belong in the same book. Oh, man, I got my volume up high today. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, so there we go. There's some characters. I think we'll do some more of that later on, see how it goes. If uh, y'all want to see something specific too, let me know about that. But again, you know, in all of this, I am thinking three-dimensionally. You know, that guy's, that guy's face existed in three dimensions before I started it. Let's see if I can dimensionalize it a little bit. It all sticks out. None of, the, none of these are just little, you know, I'm not, I'm not thinking on a flat plane at all. I'm drawing on a flat plane, but I'm not thinking that way. I don't know if that helps or not. It helps me. All right. My coffee's just about done. I got stuff to do, so you'll have a good one today. Bye-bye.